Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to sprout some brown lentils and I'm going to take you through the whole process from start to finish. We want to start with a one quart mason jar and you'll need a sprouting lid. Now I've got one here that I want to use. It's got larger holes in it. This works when you have larger things to sprout. You could use a sprouting lid like this. You could use any sprouting lid that you have, even cheesecloth and a rubber band or some old pantyhose over the top and a rubber band as well. Anything that will allow air to go through and allow water to drain out without losing your lentils. And to this jar, I'm going to add one half cup of brown lentils. And then I'm going to put my lid on there. And then we're going to just rinse them off a couple times here. Just swirl them around. We just want those lentils to be rinsed really well. And of course, if you can take the time to go through them first, make sure there's no stones or anything like that in there. That's helpful. And it is good to do this in the evening. Now I'm doing this in the morning, so we're going to allow these to soak all day. But it's even easier if you just do it in the evening, and then they can soak while you're snoozing for the night. And we just want to cover these with plenty of water and allow them to soak for 8 to 12 hours or overnight, whichever is better. And so it's about 9 o'clock in the morning and uh, around supper time or so I'm going to call these finished with soaking and we'll pick it up from there. And when these soak I'm just going to put them on the kitchen counter. They do not need to be in sunlight or anything like that. You don't need to put them in extreme darkness. You just want them away from a heat source and away from direct light and they'll be perfectly fine. It's a little bit after six in the evening, so our lentils have soaked for right about nine hours. And anywhere from eight to 12 hours is fine. So what we're gonna do now is give them a little bit of a rinse. Drain that water off and just rinse them a time or two. And then we're gonna let them drain well. And then just set the jar on its side for the night in uh, a place that's away from the heat and it'll be on the kitchen counter just out of the way for the night and then we're going to continue this routine of rinsing and draining twice a day for a few days until they have sprouted. Now you want to make sure that they drain really well so the idea is to put them on a 45 degree angle for roughly 15 minutes and I like to rest the jar on this little stand and it allows it to drain right into the sink. If you don't have a little stand like that just put them in a bowl and that'll just allow them to drain just fine and then dump the bowl out and give it a wash and you're good. So after 15 minutes of sitting like this, then we're going to put the jar on its side and kind of disperse these around a little bit any way they can and leave it for the night and then I'll touch base with you in the morning. It's early in the morning on what we'll call day two. Our lentils have rested on their side overnight and now we're just going to give them a drink of some cold water. Give them one rinse and then drain them for about 15 minutes at a 45 degree angle. And then I'll just place the jar on its side again like this on the kitchen counter away from heat, away from direct light. They don't have to be in a dark cupboard or something like that. They really don't have to. You can do that if you want. Um, and then we'll repeat this same process later on in today. Um, it's early in the morning. It's about 6 o'clock this morning. And I'll do it about 12 hours from now, about 6 o'clock later on this evening. And then uh, just repeating the same process until we see some little tails on the lentils. And I'll touch base with you tomorrow so you can see the progress. Good morning everyone. It is the beginning of day three, the morning of day three. 
And you can see we have little tails on here. We have little roots that have formed. You could go ahead and call them done. So it really doesn't take long. I'm going to allow these to sprout another 24 hours. So we're going to do our rinse and drain routine today. Uh, twice a day at 12 hour intervals. And then we'll allow them to drain. And tomorrow morning when I check in with you, I'll show you what they look like. So we're going to call them done. It's the evening of day three. And I did say earlier that I would let these go until tomorrow morning and then harvest them. But I want you to see how much growth we've had just in the course of this one day. And I really don't want to let them go any longer. They are more than sprouted. And so we're ready to eat them. Uh, to store them, you want to put them in another container with a cover on it and put it in the refrigerator. I do not rinse them immediately before putting them in the refrigerator because I don't want to douse them with water and have a lot of excess water on them. So it's been about 12 hours since I shot the clip earlier and they're just going to go in the refrigerator now two things uh, you can eat them like they are raw just like they are put them on a salad or however you want to eat them or you could cook them and they won't take very long to cook at this point in time some people do get stomach or gastrointestinal discomfort if they eat them raw even though they've been sprouted and yes they are edible in this state some people will get some GI distress so in that case, you do want to cook them a little bit until they're tender and not mushy. And uh, then you should be fine with them. Otherwise, you can feel free to eat them like they are. As with any sprout, I would use these within four, no more than five days. And um, they are very, very helpful for you to consume. Do give this a try sometime and let me know if you have any questions or comments below. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye!